Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you some really cool equipment. This is Ken's equipment from California and it's an operator's horn and headset. And Ken always sends in really cool pieces of equipment, uh, telephone related, uh, to have us work on and, and repair for him. We also did an earlier video on repairing his uh, pink princess phone and all this equipment came in together and that's kind of why we are got the princess phone in the back there. So Ken wants to take this and, and actually just put it away but he wants to be able to at least plug it in and have a modular plug on the uh, line cord so that he can plug it in and kind of maybe uh, talk on it or, or listen to it and uh, then he's gonna I think gonna put it away from what I understand from him so that's what we're gonna do uh, since this is the line cord is too big to actually get a modular port plug adapter on it what we're going to do is pigtail onto this uh, line cord and then that will give him a short piece of modular uh, plug that he can uh, plug into the wall anywhere. So this is the initial checkout of this equipment and to me uh, from the the strap that's on it, it looks military but it very well could have been used in any setting. We just, you know, there's just no way to know. Now since this is the initial checkout of this unit I kind of want to show you a little bit of the receiver here and I want to show you it's a early model and it has the diaphragm in it so it's a very early model headset and then what we want to do is I want to go to the actual horn itself and I want to show you that I have it apart and as you can see it's got an early model transmitter in it so the diaphragm is in back here and these horns just pull off that kind of gives you a look at it but then also what they would do is they would swivel so they were adjustable and they would swivel around very cool but very early transmitter so it's been around a while and what we're going to do is go ahead and finish this up for Ken and I have it apart because we want to wire the pigtail to this and we also um, kind of went through everything and I want to go through it a little further but this is just the initial checkout and we'll get everything finished up so we're going to take a break from the video and we'll get him a, a pigtail on here and then uh, we'll kind of go into the transmitter and receiver and make sure that that's all working and uh, take care of that part of it and then we'll do an initial check on it or a uh, final checkout on it so we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we have finished up with this uh, operator's horn and headset. And so what we did here was, since the line cord is cloth and it's so thick, we would have normally put uh, a modular port plug adapter on, but this time we had to pigtail to it. And so it should be fine. We do this sometimes and this is marine grade heat shrink that we use so when you heat it up it actually has a glue inside that seals everything so Ken should be just good with that and um, so now we have our handset and it's been or our uh, receiver capsule our headset and it's been gone through and we've gotten that taken care of and then the horn we put back together again and got that squared away. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and we're going to do some tests on this. So we're going to go ahead and plug it 
into the give you some dial tone there and what we also want to do is take another telephone and dial a time and temp with it Okay, and so now we want to unplug the unit because it's directly plugged into the line. Now, this telephone or operator's horn and uh, headset is only going to work as good as basically what the telephone line can produce in voltage because it's a direct connection and so it's, it's going to rely on Ken's voltage on his telephone line depending on what his receive turns out to be like and what the transmit on the horn is going to be like. So there's not much we can do about that since it's a self-contained unit. And actually these were plugged into uh, amplifiers. Uh, and so, um, you know, the, it, the situation is it's direct connection and there's not much we can do about it. So now what we want to do is I want to plug it into the analyzer and what I want to do is I want to get the horn and I'm going to go ahead and transmit into this horn and if you watch this red light here every time I transmit into the horn you can see the red light that's an indication of a hundred percent modulation on transmit one two three four five six one two three four five six hello hello and if you talk to somebody on this, are you going to sound a little different? I, I guess you probably would. You're talking through a horn, you're talking into a transmitter, and then uh, of the old style where it's got a diaphragm that's uh, got a needle on it that's bouncing around. And so that was the transmitter, the older style type transmitters. And then you have the older style receiver capsule that we showed you earlier. And so basically that's a diaphragm also. So Ken's got some old school stuff here, and uh, it's really cool, and uh, I'm glad that he's uh, decided to try to save it and uh, kind of like maybe uh, plug it in and use it a little bit and then store it away, because he told me he's got uh, kind of like a museum thing going on in his home, and so that's a good thing, because it's, it's probably 100 years old now, and... Uh, if it's not, it's going to be 100 real. Now that it's finished up, we can uh, go ahead and get all of Ken's equipment back to him. His uh, headset, his horn, and his princess phone. And uh, Ken can start enjoying his equipment again. He's got some pretty cool stuff here. And he always sends in really neat things to uh, be repaired, phone related. So this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.